Welcome to today's video on the Voltage Controlled Voltage Source or VCVS. In the world of electronic circuits, the VCVS plays a crucial role in allowing us to control voltages at different parts of a circuit using the voltage at another part. Let's start by looking at the symbol for a VCVS. It is represented by a diamond-shaped block with two terminals. This symbol indicates that the voltage across the VCVS, which we'll call VD, is directly proportional to the controlling voltage, which we'll call VC. To understand this better, imagine we have a circuit where the controlling voltage, VC, is derived from the voltage across a specific circuit element located elsewhere. By adjusting the voltage of that circuit element, we can effectively control the output voltage, VD, of the VCVS. The relationship between the controlled voltage, VD, and the controlling voltage, VC, can be expressed mathematically as VD equals KV asterisk VC. In this equation, K represents the proportionality constant. It is measured in volts per volt, V slash V and determines the sensitivity or gain of the VCVS. Essentially, K tells us how much the output voltage will change in response to a given change in the controlling voltage. By adjusting the value of K and manipulating the controlling voltage, VC, we have precise control over the output voltage, VD, of the VCVS. Increasing the value of K will result in a larger change in the output voltage for a given change in the controlling voltage, making the VCVS more sensitive. The VCVS finds extensive applications in various electronic systems. One common application is in amplifiers. By using a VCVS, we can control the amplification of signals based on the controlling voltage. This allows us to adjust the volume or gain of the amplifier according to our needs. The VCVS is also used in oscillators, which generate periodic waveforms. By controlling the voltage that determines the frequency of the oscillator, we can produce different tones and frequencies in electronic music or signal generation. Another application of the VCVS is in filters, where we can adjust the cutoff frequency based on the controlling voltage. This enables us to selectively pass or reject certain frequencies in a signal, contributing to various filtering techniques used in audio processing, communication systems, and more. To summarize, the Voltage Controlled Voltage Source, VCVS, is a fundamental component in electronic circuits, allowing us to control voltages at different parts of a circuit based on the voltage at another part. By adjusting the proportionality constant K and manipulating the controlling voltage, we can precisely control the output voltage. This functionality is widely used in amplifiers, oscillators, filters, and many other electronic systems. And that concludes our video on the Voltage Controlled Voltage Source, VCVS. We have explored how this component allows us to control voltages in electronic circuits based on the voltage at another part. By understanding the relationship between the controlled voltage, VD, and the controlling voltage, VC, we can adjust the output voltage with precision using the proportionality constant K. The VCVS has a wide range of applications, including amplifiers, oscillators, and filters, where it enables us to manipulate signals, generate waveforms, and implement selective frequency response. We will learn about the CCVS circuit symbol and understand how the voltage across it is determined by the controlling current in another part of the circuit. Let's begin by understanding the basic principle behind a CCVS. A CCVS is a type of electronic component that provides an output voltage that is directly proportional to the controlling current passing through a different part of the circuit. It allows us to create voltage sources whose magnitude is dependent on the current flowing through specific circuit elements. To visualize a CCVS, it is often represented by a diamond-shaped block in circuit diagrams with two terminals. This symbol is crucial in recognizing and differentiating the CCVS from other circuit elements. Now, let's focus on the relationship between the controlling current, IC, and the voltage across the CCVS, VD. According to the CCVS equation, this relationship can be expressed as VD equals RM into IC. Here, VD represents the controlled voltage, and IC denotes the controlling current. The proportionality constant Rm is the resistance in ohms associated with the CCVS. 
Essentially, the CCVS equation states that the voltage across the CCVS is equal to the product of the resistance RM and the controlling current IC. In other words, as the controlling current varies, the voltage across the CCVS will change proportionally. It's important to note that the resistance RM determines the proportionality between the controlling current and the resulting voltage across the CCVS. By adjusting the value of RM, we can control the voltage output of the CCVS. A higher resistance will result in a larger voltage for the same controlling current, while a lower resistance will yield a smaller voltage. The concept of a CCVS finds applications in various electronic systems. It allows us to design circuits where the voltage across a particular component is controlled by the current flowing through another part of the circuit. This feature is especially useful in amplifiers, filters, and other signal processing circuits. To summarize, a CCVS is an electronic component that produces a voltage across its terminals proportional to the controlling current in another part of the circuit. By using the CCVS equation, VD equals RM asterisk IC, we can determine the relationship between the controlled voltage and the controlling current. The resistance RM plays a crucial role in determining the voltage output, with higher values resulting in larger voltages and vice versa. A voltage-controlled current source consists of a circuit element that generates a current proportional to the voltage applied to it. This relationship is at the heart of the VCCS and is expressed through a simple equation, ID equals GM into VC. Here, ID represents the controlled current, while VC stands for the controlling voltage. The key factor that determines the current flowing through the VCCS is the conductance, represented by GM conductance is measured in Siemens, S, and is the reciprocal of resistance. It quantifies how easily current can pass through a component. The conductance, GM, plays a vital role in the VCCS operation. Higher conductance values allow for greater current flow for a given controlling voltage, while lower conductance values result in less current. So, by adjusting the conductance, we can control the amount of current flowing through the VCCS. Now, let's understand this concept using an analogy. Think of the VCCS as a faucet and the controlling voltage, VC, as the handle. When you turn the handle, you control the flow of water. Similarly, in a VCCS, when we adjust the controlling voltage, we control the flow of current. When we analyze or design electronic circuits, VCCS symbols and their behavior are crucial. The VCCS circuit symbol typically consists of an arrow representing the direction of current flow, with a voltage source connected to it. This symbol helps us identify and understand the presence of a VCCS in a circuit diagram. Now that we have a good grasp of VCCS, let's explore its practical applications. VCCS can be used in various areas, such as amplifiers, signal processing circuits, and control systems. By precisely controlling the current using an external voltage signal, we can achieve accurate amplification, filtering, and modulation in electronic systems. To summarize, a voltage-controlled current source, VCCS, is an electronic component that produces a current proportional to the voltage applied to it. The current is controlled by adjusting the controlling voltage using the equation ID equals GM into VC, where GM represents the conductance in Siemens, S. This relationship allows us to modulate current flow in electronic circuits and find applications in amplifiers, signal processing, and control systems. The CCCS is represented by a specific circuit symbol, which helps us identify and differentiate it from other components in a circuit. You can see the symbol displayed on screen now. Remember, this symbol will be helpful for you to recognize the CCCS in circuit diagrams. Now, let's discuss the relationship between the controlled current, ID, and the controlling current, IC. In the CCCS, the output current, ID, is directly proportional to the input controlling current, IC. This means that as we increase or decrease the controlling current, the controlled current will also change accordingly. To express this relationship mathematically, we use the equation ID equals key asterisk IC. Here, key represents the proportionality constant, which is unilist and has the dimension of a slash A, or amps per ampere. The value of key determines how the controlling current IC influences the controlled current ID. 
By adjusting the value of key, we can achieve different levels of control and amplification. The unitless nature of key is significant because it means the proportionality constant is independent of the specific units of current used in the circuit. Regardless of whether we're working with milliamperes, amperes, or any other unit of current, key remains the same. It represents a pure ratio or scaling factor that defines the relationship between the controlling current and the controlled current. Now, let's discuss some practical applications of the CCCS. One common use is in amplifier circuits. By employing a CCCS, we can control the amplification of a signal by adjusting the controlling current. This enables us to increase or decrease the output current, which in turn affects the amplification level of the circuit. Another application of the CCCS is in feedback systems. These systems rely on maintaining stability and precision by adjusting the output based on specific conditions. The CCCS allows us to precisely control the output current by manipulating the controlling current, thus enabling effective feedback control. To summarize, the Current Controlled Current Source, or CCCS, is a component that generates an output current, ID, which is directly proportional to the controlling current, IC. This relationship is defined by the unitless proportionality constant, key. By adjusting the controlling current, we can control and amplify the output current. I hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of the CCCS and its functionality. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more informative videos on electronic components and circuitry.